Well, hello, Stipe super fans. How are you? Happy summer. Things are really warming up around here at the My Stipe Life Gallery, not only in the temperature wise, but also with the influx of wonderful and interesting items, which seem to keep coming and coming, which is so exciting for me and for you. So just last week, I received a phone call from a woman on the West Coast of the US. And she said that she has found a very old Stife bear wrapped up in the closet of her mother-in-law's home, which was in Vancouver, the Vancouver area, which is a beautiful and wonderful place. So this item comes from a beautiful and wonderful place. Anyway, she described it to me, at least to the best of her ability, and she put it in a box and sent it to me. And guess what? The box has arrived today. So let's take a look. Your guess is as good as mine, but it is always exciting to unbox a wonderful family treasure. Anyway, here we go. Here is the box. The box is here and I opened the bottom just to speed things along. So I have not opened the box. This is brand new to you as it is to me, but the tape has been opened a little to speed things along. Okay, here we go. The box in a bag as it should be for waterproofing purposes. You never know what's going to happen. So here he is. Here's the size of the bag all wrapped up in paper. And we all love these things. Look at my shirt. Here's a clue. But a little bit older. Oh, how sweet. So this is exactly as the client described. This is a lovely old bear. Now look at this face. Could anything be more classic? It's a wonderful bear. He's just beautiful. I would say he measures about say 13 inches, which is a wonderful size and height. He is got some love on him. He's got some age on him, but don't we all, if we all look hard enough, there's always a little something, huh? He has a terrific button. He has a little button that is a long trailing F button. And between that and his wonderful coloring and his facial expression and detailing, I would guess this guy is probably between hmm, maybe 1906 and 1912 in age. Isn't he lovely? He's going, he was blonde. He has darkened a bit over time. Let's go over his wonderful and classic details, which tells us what he is. So first of all, yes, he is definitely a stipe. I could tell that before looking for the button, but he has these wonderful shoe button eyes, black. And usually those are made mostly from wood, very hard wood, dyed black. Sometimes you see glass, black eyes. These happen to be wood. Very traditional black nose stitching pattern. He's missing a little stitch. That's okay. And his little mouth, very simple. His muzzle has been trimmed, as you will see, and bears, you know, before the 1920s, they had a little bit shaved on their muzzle to give them a little more distinct properties. Sweet Bear has a back hump and his, his long arms. Now, remember the arms are supposed to come down to the knees and that's where they're coming to. And if you take the bear, the earliest bears, the reason the arms are so long is because they were actually meant to be posed on all fours. So that's why he's like that. Very long arms. What you're going to see is the head. Two heads equals the size of his torso. And his feet are long and narrow and felt. Now, he's got his original felt on three out of four pads. One of his pads has like a mitten on it. It's been replaced. I guess he had a little bad luck there, but that could easily be done in a little bit more professional way or he's beautiful just the way he is. Anyway, what we have here, a new old friend. What's not to love? So we'll get him a little bit cleaned up and listed and put him on the store for you if you're at all interested in this fine, lovely turn of last century fellow. This is what makes life so wonderful. You just never know. You never know what's next. And it's always so nice to see old, loving friends like this. Anyway, that's what I have for you now. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to see you soon. Take good care, Teddy hugs, and bye for now.